the first episode, as usual, Goblin Slayer was checking for any signs of goblins. Meanwhile, the guild was bustling with activity as it was the time for new adventurers to register. Priestess and the elf were observing the guild's atmosphere with delight. Especially Priestess would have been adventuring for two years. She felt happy to be called a senior, and it seemed that Priestess had been able to move up from rank 9 to rank 8. From a distance, there were new adventurers discussing Priestess and the elf. They were curious if they could be friends with such beautiful girls if they continued to be adventurers. By the way, Priestess asked if the elf had read the letter from the noble girl they had saved the other day. The girl said she wouldn't be an adventurer anymore, but would fight as a supporter. It seemed she was getting along well with her family too. Shortly after that, they saw a new adventure party heading out on their first mission. According to Priestess, they should be taught something for the first time. However, the elf felt that it wasn't too important. No matter what they were taught, if they didn't want to listen to other people's advice, it would be in vain. The elf gave an example which was the dwarf who used to go with them. Coincidentally, the dwarf was also in the guild. The dwarf were tormented that it was actually the elf who didn't listen to others. And as usual, they ended up arguing over trivial matters. Shortly after that, the wizard and Spearman also arrived with the guild. Spearman said it would be better if they didn't fight to look cool in front of the new adventurers. The female knight and greetsword wielder also came to the guild, followed by their students. The wizard men also joined Priestess and the others and asked about the whereabouts of Goblin Slayer. As mentioned earlier, Goblin Slayer now arrived with the guild. The new adventurers looked at him with astonishment. They underestimated him because of his nickname. After that, Goblin Slayer approached his group. As usual, he would take a goblin mission. When he was about to take the mission, he was approached by some longtime adventurers. However, the new adventurer still seemed strange and condescending towards him. After that, Goblin Slayer went to the receptionist to request the list of goblin missions available. The number of goblin missions today seemed quite substantial. Even considering the missions taken by beginners, possibly because it was already spring, Goblin Slayer also requested the list of goblin missions taken by beginners. Next to him, a new adventurer party was discussing purchasing potions. They wanted to do it, but they didn't have enough money. After Goblin Slayer looked at all his missions, he bought healing, antidote, and stamina potions from receptionist. Six of each, the new adventurers were surprised to see that Goblin Slayer had so much money. After buying the potions, Goblin Slayer marked them to avoid confusion. His companions then bought the potions from him and marked them as well. Suddenly, a young novice adventurer was curious about what they were doing. Lizard men then explained that they marked the potions to avoid mistakes when using them. When you need to use a potion, you might not have time to check the type of potion one by one. Goblin Slayer added that it was better not to mark all of them. It was better to mark items that would be used quickly. And suddenly, Goblin Slayer reminded the new adventurer not to immediately take the goblin mission. It's better to take on rad extermination missions first. After that, the young novice adventurer returned to her party. As Goblin Slayer and his group left the guild, they crossed paths with a young man with red hair who was in a hurry. The young man accidentally bumped into Priestess. For some reason, Priestess became lost in pot when she saw the young man's face. Goblin Slayer and his group completed all their goblin missions by nightfall. They were very tired, especially the elf, who had been complaining all day. Priestess had fallen asleep in lizard men's arms. Because of this, Goblin Slayer went alone to the guild to report their missions. When he entered the guild, Goblin Slayer didn't find anyone around. However, he saw a figure covered in a cloak and initially thought it was a goblin. As he approached, it turned out to be the red-haired young man they had encountered earlier in the morning. The young man screamed because someone had drawn a sword in front of him. The receptionist rural woke up due to the commotion and felt embarrassed for falling asleep while Goblin Slayer was present. After serving tea for Goblin Slayer, the receptionist rural began to record Goblin Slayer's mission report. As usual, Goblin Slayer recalled the number of goblins in each mission and reported how he defeated them. The young man, who overheard, wanted to take notes on how to kill goblins as reported by Goblin Slayer. However, Goblin Slayer immediately forbade him, saying that goblins who were good at remembering might steal the young man's notes. The young man then asked to be taught directly how to kill goblins. Nevertheless, Goblin Slayer still refused. He said that if the young man hadn't taken action before being taught, it would make no difference after being taught. Then, Goblin Slayer continued his report to the receptionist. The reward for the mission would be distributed on the participating groups. 
However, Goblin Slayer requested his share first. Afterward, he asked the receptionist about the young man. It seemed that the young man had just registered as an adventurer and wanted to exterminate goblins on his own. Goblin Slayer then approached the young man and asked if he had a place to stay. Goblin Slayer glanced at the receptionist, who signaled that the young man couldn't stay at the guild. With no other choice, Goblin Slayer instructed the young man to follow him. After walking for a while, the young man was puzzled about why they were heading to a farm. Shortly after that, the farm girl came to greet Goblin Slayer as usual. She also noticed that Goblin Slayer was with someone else. Goblin Slayer explained that the young man was a new adventurer who couldn't afford to rent accommodation. The farm girl immediately understood Goblin Slayer's intention. She had no problem with the young man staying. However, before that, Goblin Slayer wanted to discuss it with the farm uncle. Goblin Slayer had explained the situation, but the farm uncle still refused to let the young man stay there. According to him, a newly registered adventurer was no different from a thug. The young man immediately took offense of being called back. It was precisely because of his attitude that the farm uncle couldn't trust him. Goblin Slayer then suggested that the young man sleep in the barn he borrowed. Goblin Slayer would also take responsibility for sleeping in the barn. The farm uncle finally agreed. When they were in the barn, the young man asked who the farm girl and the farm uncle were. The young man saw that they were not family or relatives of Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer then explained that the girl was his childhood friend and the owner of this farm was the girl's uncle. The young man was curious about why Goblin Slayer was just sitting and not sleeping. It turned out that Goblin Slayer could sleep with one eye open. He said it was a preparation in case goblins came. He advised the young man to do the same if he wanted to kill goblins. The next day, the farm girl was preparing breakfast. After Goblin Slayer and the young man finished eating, they returned to the guild. The young man felt too full to stand for a long time. It seemed he had eaten too much for breakfast. Before leaving him, Goblin Slayer told him to take a rat extermination mission instead. However, the young man was determined to exterminate goblins. After that, Goblin Slayer approached his group. For some reason, Priestess seemed sad. Turned out she had failed to rank up. The guild informed her that Priestess still hadn't contributed enough. Dwarf suspected that the guild considered Priestess as being carried by her group. However, Priestess asked the others not to make a big deal out of it. She just had to work harder. The elf suddenly had an idea to address Priestess' issue. She suggested that Priestess should go on an adventure with adventurers, rank ceramic or obsidian. Goblin Slayer felt that it wasn't a bad idea. Suddenly, the red-haired young man came to taunt Priestess. He said that people who were always afraid would never get promoted. His taunts got worse as he claimed that Priestess could only tremble and call out to God when in trouble. Priestess immediately refuted him, saying that she believed she could do more. Then, Lizardman warned the young man that he would be judged if he dared to judge others. He explained that what he had just said was equivalent to mocking other priests. And indeed, other adventurers in the guild became irritated with the young man. At that moment, the young man asserted that he was also an adventurer. He could easily exterminate goblins. He was also frustrated with Goblin Slayer for not allowing him to take notes on how to kill goblins, and for refusing to teach him directly. The young man didn't want to just exterminate rats. He wanted to exterminate goblins. The elf then asked who the noisy young man was. Goblin Slayer explained that he was a new adventurer who was a spellcaster. Suddenly, the female knight approached them. She had been listening to the young man's words all along. Therefore, she had a great idea. The female knight challenged the young man to exterminate goblins. Not only that, Priestess had to be the leader in this goblin mission. That way, the young man could address his concerns, and Priestess could be seen as making a more significant contribution to the guild. 